My presentation today truly is about communication. And we're going to talk about how we utilize YouTube uh, for effective communication. But to do that, I want to take you back a little bit so you really understand the essence of why we went down this path. <coughs> Uh, I don't know how many of you really understand the, how a real estate brokerage operates. I have 2,000 sales executives uh, and uh, additional staff in two states. Communication is very, very important. And for all of you in your business, have you ever fallen into this where you've communicated the message and you talk to the people you communicated the message to and no one knows what you're talking about? Okay, so what that ultimately means is we can get frustrated about that or okay, we can take responsibility of it and say, look, I can blame it on the email, I can blame it on they don't read it, they don't follow through, or I can look at what I can do differently to communicate uh, more effectively. Now, when you're dealing with staff and employees, I will be honest, it's easier. It is easier. When you're dealing with clients, and for me, my clients are those 2,000 sales attacks. Independent contractors, they are not employees. They have their own schedules, and they do what they want, when they want. We're basically a business service company. It's the way we've structured our organization, and our direct client is the sales executives. A lot of time you'll feel, well, it's the buyer and the seller. That's very true. We deal with buyer and sellers. But in reality, the buyer and seller works directly with that sales executive. Our job is to make sure our sales executives are well-trained, well-informed, and know what's going on. Well, that brings us back to the challenge of communication. Communicating effectively. Now, we've gone down the email road, we've gone down so many different avenues, sending, we even did the red letter. Okay, this was really a good one that failed miserably. Okay, where you just go, okay, you've got to read this, this is important. Still doesn't work. Here is what has been so effective for our organization, and that is using pictures and using video. Number one, and two, having effective and relevant content. Very, very important. And that's really what I want to cover today. And I have some statistics here on YouTube. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on that, but I will tell you this, that YouTube it has been a phenomenal vehicle for us. Let me step back and tell you how we did this and how it all began. First of all, coming from the low-tech strategy, we had an extra office, call it 10 by 12 approximately, office in our executive branch. And we said, you know what? This is going to be our video room, okay? Very awesome. We took that and we created a backdrop. At first, we had just a simple backdrop, and we got a $200 camera and we started doing these videos. Now, one mistake I made is I had a lot of content. And I had a lot of good stuff to share. So the video started going to about 10 minutes. Well, I learned very quickly that the attention span for an individual uh, was less than 10 minutes. And we learned that it really is, if you can give quality content between three and five minutes on a video, it can be powerful, and most importantly, it'll be viewed. Now, we're set up at our organization that there are office meetings, and we utilize those office meetings to show these videos. So, one, I'm not only depending on, and we'll talk about the social media sites we utilize, I'm not only depending on those social media sites to get out our message. I can also use what we do. We have office meetings, and sometimes we'll have office meetings in office because we have large facilities that has 100 sales meetings <coughs> plus in that office. So we get the message out that way. But for the people who aren't there, instead of complaining, why did you come to the meeting, we also send that out company-wide. So every sales executive can watch the message on their phone, can watch it on their iPad, can watch it any way and any time that they feel comfortable doing so. Also, okay, it goes to, I have MarkStarkCEO.com, and the agent knows about that, and so if they miss it, and they didn't see the email that went out with the video, they can also go to markstarkco.com, click it up there in the videos there as well, as all the older videos are. Remember, we're trying to work. One message that came out really strong this morning is it's not us telling the client what to do, it's the client telling us what to do. And we're listening, okay? And we're really trying to jockey around and find the best way to communicate with our clients. Because if you got any message out of today,